Hello, hello. Grand rising, everybody. Oh, and it's 1.55. Look at that. <laughs> Today, I thought I'd hop on here and do a yoga class. I really felt like doing a yoga class today. I felt like being of service. So I thought, why not do a free yoga class? Um, I'm a little chilly today, so I'm going to bring a blanket with me. As always, I encourage y'all to bring any item that's going to bring you comfort. So while I share the items that I'm going to be using today that bring me comfort, you guys then can also look around and see if there's any items that you might want to call upon. And today's yoga class is a little bit special, different, because this is not really that different. There are many times when I come on here and I feel called to do a yoga class and I don't necessarily have a flow in my mind that I want to take or that I want to share. It's really just um, what I call a yoga exploration. And so when I go through this yoga exploration and I share my yoga practice, um, for me, I like to extend the invitation for y'all to come along with that yoga exploration, that yoga journey with me. And then it ends up being a yoga class, a yoga flow, if you will. So today, um, I'm just going to say what my body really wants me to do today. And I'm going to call it out and I'm going to cue it. And as always, I give y'all the explicit permission to disobey me. If I call out, if I cue out um, downward dog and you and your body are like, no, my wrist hurt. I don't, I don't really want to do downward dog. Then don't do it. You know, do a pose that's going to bring ease, comfort, joy, love to you and your body. So that's what I mean when I say you always have explicit permission to disobey. Um, so yeah, whatever my body feels like calling out today, that's just what I'm going to cue out. And um, tomorrow I have a really busy day. Today I have a really busy day. So today I really just want to bring some balance to restore some peace within my body. Especially as I know I'm going to be maybe a little bit on go mode. You know, on full 100. <laughs> I'm probably going to be moving throughout my day really quickly. So I really wanted to take this time to restore, to bring balance um, back into my body. And that's why I'm calling today a restorative yoga class. So I do have a couple of things with me right now. I'm actually sitting on a block and a blanket. Extra comfort. I got a nice soft blanket here. Like I said earlier, I'm a little bit cold, so I want to give myself a blanket so I can feel a little bit more warm. I have another yoga block over here in case we need it. Again, I'm just saying what I'm using today to bring comfort into my yoga flow. Um, giving y'all some time to look around, see if there's anything you guys want to bring to bring comfort into your yoga flow. I also have, um, for our meditation at the end of today's class, one thing that definitely will be happening is a three to five minute silent meditation where each of us will silently meditate in our own space, but also together as a collective. I just think that's a really beautiful, energetic um, vibrancy, that vibrations that we're going to be giving off. Um, so for the silent meditation at the end, I'm actually going to be using an eye mask. Uh, just because I have a ring light right now and it's pretty bright. So when we do the silent meditation, I'm going to use this to cover my eyes. And I'm also going to be pouring a little bit of essential oil on it. I love to use essential oil, essential oils in my practice. I actually have a diffuser on right now too. But I'm just going to be dabbing a little bit uh, right around where like my nose is going to be. And the reason why I'm doing that now instead of at the end when we start our meditation is because I want this to dry a little bit. I don't want it to be like wet on my face. And the, so the scent I'm using today is called Stress Relief, which I'm not a really big fan of. As y'all know, I love to create my reality with my words. And I don't like the, the fact that it says Stress Relief. So I think I'm going to take it off and put, um, I think I'm going to take it off and put Calm instead. I also have over here um, a salve with 400 grams of hemp oil. Uh, it's from Veritas Farms, and I will be putting a spot in our um, 
in our flow today just so we can massage ourselves and really just bring some joy and love into our bodies and so when we do that i will be bringing out this salve it has a cooling menthol which is so nice and like y'all know i love him and some water of course go hydrate and then we're gonna jump into the ease let's say ease into the rest of the yoga class today So I'll just invite everyone to find a comfortable position so that we can begin. In my space, I also have um, some healing music in the background. Perhaps you too would like to bring some healing sounds into your space. And I'll extend the invitation for whenever you find that comfortable position to just breathe, start to come into the body, feeling out how it feels to be in our bodies today, whatever that looks like. Starting to notice our environment. Are there sounds? Is it silent? Regardless of what the environment sounds or looks like, Are you able to start tapping into your inner peace? Even if it's just for a second, it counts. Bringing our awareness to the toes. Breathing deeply and bringing our awareness to how our feet feel today. And maybe you can ground your awareness of that body part with your breath. And I'm going to try to speak a little bit louder because I'm not sure if you guys can hear me or not, so. Moving up from our feet, our calves, how do they feel like today? What does it feel like when you breathe and direct your attention to them? As you breathe, let the breath travel up to your knees. Inhaling lots of gratitude for our knees as they carry us around. Exhaling lots of gratitude as we thank our knees. Traveling up from the knees to our thighs, the front and the back, breathing all of our awareness and intention into our body. Breathing up as we move from 
from the thighs to our hips, our pelvic area, our bum. Breathing into our root chakra. Our sacred seed. Inhaling as we travel up to our tummy and the lower back. The solar plexus and our sacral chakra. Inhaling, coming up to our rib cage that hug our organs and the heart chakra shining brilliantly in the vibrant green. Perhaps you imagine your heart chakra's light shining out of your heart space and wrapping you in a beautiful green orb of pure love frequency. And we inhale and rise through our spine Inhale, lots of love. Exhale, lots of love. And make me smile. Breathing in as we travel up to our shoulders and our neck. And perhaps with our breath, we can relax this area a little bit more. Bring intention and awareness to our jaw. Our chin. Our cheeks. Our lips. nose, our eyes, and our third eye too. Our forehead and temples. And finally, our crown, the top of our head and our crown chakra. Letting our breath relax our body. As we deepen our connection to the universe, the divine, the all.
feeling our body connected to the ground, Mother Earth. And perhaps with our next inhale, we bring our attention to our neck and begin small circles with the nose. Breathing lots of love and awareness into our neck. Maybe widening our nose circles Letting our breath bring ease as we create circles through space with our nose, our lovely nose, until the little black girl, little black boy, your nose is so beautiful. And whenever you feel like you've turned in this direction enough, why don't we go ahead and reverse the circle and bring balance. Going as wide or as small or narrow <laughs> as we want with our nose circle. Maybe we roll our head from side to side, shoulder to shoulder. Inhaling and extending through the spine. Maybe we slow to shake our head, no, and yes. As we match our movement with our breath. Going as slow or as fast as we want to today. And if you are like me and you're sitting on the block crisscross applesauce, I'm going to invite us to switch. So I'm going to take my blanket off really quickly. So this is how I was sitting with my, I guess you could say my left leg on top. So I'm going to invite us to actually switch. So I'm going to bring the right leg in first and then my left so that my opposite leg is on top. I'm trying to figure out if my dog was at the door. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Bringing the blankie back on because I'm still cold. <clears throat> and I completely forgot. He was outside. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to extend an invitation out to everyone to join me as I do some side stretches and these side stretches can be done sitting down still or if you want to have a change uh, maybe you want to do these standing up or in a chair that's also uh, options that are available to you but I know I'm probably going to be standing a lot today so I'm going to continue to sit down as I inhale I'm going to bring my shoulders up and relax them back down as I inhale and lift up one arm as high as I want to, I'm going to take my opposite arm and bring it, bring my fingertips to the ground. And on my exhale, I'm going to stretch to the side. So. 
inhaling as I lift up through the spine and exhale leaning over as much as I want to inhale back up to center exhale bringing the arm down inhale raising the opposite arm exhale leaning over to the side inhale back to center my nose itches exhale to the other side reaching through the fingertips exhale back to center inhale other side leaning over as we exhale and i think i'm gonna repeat that maybe three more times on each side three more rounds If you're doing your side stretches, go at your own pace, whatever feels good to you today. So you can continue with the side stretches if they feel good to you. I'm going to move on and do some butterflies with my legs. So I'm going to bring my soles, the soles of my feet together. And it's going to create this like diamond type shape. Let me fix my block here. Now you can have your knees close to your groin. You can bring them out a little bit more. Whatever feels good for you and your body today. I'm going to give myself a little bit more space. So I'm not going to be zipped up here. This is cool if that's what you want to do in your body today. But for me today, I think I'm going to bring just a little bit more space in. <clears throat> and I'm going to take the palms of my hands and I'm going to bring them to my feet. And this is just what I like to do to um, create a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more heat in the groin you don't have to come to your feet you can also hold your shins your knees if that feels good i'm just gonna come over here as we prepare to do some butterfly wing flip flaps <laughs> we're gonna flap our butterfly wings and hopefully bring a little bit more intention and uh open up and ease our hips if they're going through any type of discomfort and this will also this may also uh help you if you have some lower back pains too of course, everybody's body is different, um, but this pose really helps me with my hips. So I'm just going to inhale and exhale at my own pace, and I'm going to flap my butterfly wings. And if you'd like to, you can also use your uh, elbows to bring your, knee, your hips um, a little bit more wider to create more of a deeper stretch. Of course, if you're feeling good right here or right here, that's absolutely fine too. Uh, but I do like to give options to everyone. And because I'm on the walk, being over here is just a little bit hunched down, so I'm actually going to hold my shins. We're just going to be here for about 30 seconds, flapping as much as we want. Uh, and as we breathe deeply, let's extend through the spine. This uh, butterfly pose movement is also really good if you're interested in learning to do your splits, your um, 
if you're learning to or trying to deepen your splits, this is an awesome pose um, that can hopefully help you loosen up your hips and your knees and your hips so you can come down closer to the ground. If that's your goal, Taking a couple more deep breaths here before we begin some forward folds. Opening up that root chakra. All right. So for our forward folds, we can stay in this um, butterfly position. We can also bring our legs back to crisscross applesauce and you can also do the standing up too. I am going to bring my legs back to crisscross as I inhale and roll up through my spine. Actually, I'm going to extend my legs here. So it's gonna turn, uh, for my body, this is gonna make this pose um, not only for my back, but for my body, this also really helps open up through the hamstrings. So I'm gonna keep my knees bent. Keeping the toes pointed up towards the third eye. I'm gonna inhale and lift up my arms any uh, amount. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, roll up nice and slow. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, roll up. Nice and slow, letting our head be the last thing to come up. Exhale, fold any amount. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold and surrender. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold any amount. And maybe this time you stay folded, enjoying this little love nest, love cave you've created by coming into your own body. And then I'm gonna roll up with my next inhale. Relaxing the legs down. From seated, I'm gonna slowly transition onto my back. And I'd really like to invite us all to move super slow as if we're moving through jello. If you watch The Office, you can imagine you are the stapler inside of jello that Dwight was given by Jim. <laughs> but I'm gonna move super, super slow. Actually, I'm gonna keep this because I'm probably going to drape my blanket over me. It's really cold in my room. <laughs> Coming off yoga block as we transition onto our backs. And of course, you can do any pose you want, but I am gearing up to easing our way towards the end of our yoga class. So from my back, I'm going to tuck in the lower back. 
just creating some more space for my body. And so I'll do that action again. I'll tuck in the lower back by bringing the hips up and forward a little bit more so that um, the little arch that my back has is a little bit more supported by the earth. And then I'm gonna cross my legs over creating what I call a yogi pretzel. So with our legs crossed over, I'm gonna take my hands and bring them to the out ed outer edges of my feet. Um, of course, if this feels comfortable, you can keep it here. You can keep your hands here like me, your knees, anywhere that feels comfortable. But for me, it feels comfortable on the outer edges of my feet because we're gonna roll from side to side. As we inhale, maybe we go to one side, exhale, rolling slowly over to the other side, really bringing our attention and our awareness to the lower back as we move from side to side. And maybe it feels good, maybe you linger on one side, or maybe you keep on inhaling one side, exhaling on the other, whatever feels good in your body, I want you to explore it. If you're here on the floor with me, let's explore this yogi pretzel as we breathe at our own pace. If you feel like you've got an even amount on both sides, maybe you uncross your legs and cross the opposite leg on top and continue to roll. And maybe you put your hands on your knees and guide your hips and knees in a circle. A big or small circle, whatever you like. We're using the ground to massage the lower back, the tail, the sacrum. Maybe reversing the circle to bring balance. Once you feel like you've done enough time rolling around as a pretzel, <laughs> you can bring the feet back to the earth. And I'll invite us all to do one more pose before we find our final resting position for Savasana. Shavasana. <laughs> I'll invite us all to bring the soles of our feet together as we allow our hips to come out wide. Cobbler's pose, similar to the butterfly pose we did earlier. And as extra support for my hips, because this is quite a demanding pose for me, I'm gonna take my block and put it underneath my knees or my hips, just so that I can really relax my groin without feeling like it's being pulled out too tight. And then perhaps as I continue to breathe, if it feels good, maybe I'll turn um, the block from this position to the lower position but I'll begin with this higher position. I'll invite us all to put our hands on our groin or perhaps one hand on the tummy, another on the heart, or even on the ground too. Just find 
some comfort and ease if you are doing this pose with me. As we allow our body to open up for five breath cycles. Breathing lots of love in. And breathing lots of love out. using our hands and the outer edges of our thighs to gently bring our knees back up and then transition to whatever pose you would like to do our final meditation our silent meditation in um and it will it, it might not be truly silent uh, i do have a little bit of music on in the background but if it is silent where you are or if it isn't silent, I'll invite us all to just find stillness within and our inner silence, our inner own. So the pose I'm going to be doing our final goodbye, our final uh, meditation, got a little zen there. The pose I'll be doing uh, before we end our class is um, I'm going to bring my feet yoga mat distance about a yoga mat apart and I'll allow my knees to come in and this pose for me um, allows my lower back to feel a little bit more a little bit more relaxed I'm gonna use the blanket as a little pillow for my head I'll keep one hand over my tummy and the other hand over my heart space. And I'll invite us all to take these next couple of minutes to just relax in silence. We'll do three minutes, about three minutes. And I just encourage you to breathe at a pace that gives you peace and ease. And when the Three minutes are up. I will gently guide us back into our bodies and then we'll end our class for today. So our three minutes begins now. I'll see you on the other side.
bringing our awareness back into our bodies. Perhaps we wiggle the toes and then maybe the fingertips. And then maybe bat your eyelashes and come back into the space. And I encourage you, if you can and you want to stay meditating, please go ahead. But if you have to get going on with your day, let's just slowly, with ease and grace, transition out and up, up and out from our yoga mats. Heel toe, heel toeing, my uh, soles back together, letting my knees come to one side as I roll over. And very slowly roll on up. I thank everyone who was able to join me today. I realize I did not use the salve today, um, but honestly, I'm still very cold in my room, so there was no way I was taking off my socks. Um, excuse me. That being said, again, super big thank you to everyone who stopped by. I hope that your weekend is filled with lots of sunshine light and love spring is here the sun is out more maybe you're able to take some time to just sit in the sunlight i'd like to try to too but it's pretty cold outside so we'll see maybe i'll make some time for some sunshine all right so y'all know what the deal is i gotta transition very slowly to the phone um so y'all could just see that in action transitions are very important in life and on the yoga mat all right y'all peace love and joy enjoy have the rest of a beautiful have a beautiful rest of your day i got too zen couldn't even speak <laughs> but i hope you'll have a wonderful weekend